Today's video is going to be a quick tip, hopefully under three minutes, possibly under five minutes because I like to talk. You're only going to need three things for this tutorial, a lip balm, a lip pencil and a lipstick. So no lip brushes getting dirty, which is good news for me because I have a lot of brushes to clean. Yeah. So if you want to know how to get perfect red lips, then please keep on watching. Step one to getting perfect lipstick is to make sure your lips are in good condition. And you want to do this by number one, exfoliating, which I explain a little bit more in my post about red lips. So I will link that down below. Second is you want to make sure your lips are moisturized. So that way, especially if you're wearing a matte lip color, the lipstick doesn't appear flaky and it doesn't dry your lips out during the day. So quickly, I'm going to apply this. Usually I put it on before I'm doing my makeup so that way it has time to sink into my lips. Quick tip inside the quick tip here, if you rub your lips together then this will help get the blood flow into your lips and make them as full as they can be naturally. Step number two to the perfect lip is to line your lips and this will give you an idea of the shape of your lips and also if you have got an uneven lip shape or a lip shape that you want to make look bigger you can do that right now by overdrawing your lips or overdrawing on one side just whichever shape that you want them to be. So what I always tend to do when I'm lining my lips is I line one side of my upper lip and then line the other so I can get them symmetrical. Then when lining my bottom lip, I always start in the centre of my lip and then work towards the outer corners. You also want to make sure that you get right into the inner corners, so open your mouth and these bits here, otherwise it is just going to look odd that you've got like normal lip colour and then your red lipstick. Another thing you can do during this step is to fill your lips in completely with your lip liner and this will provide another layer of colour and will make your lipstick last longer, especially if you are going out or if you are going out for a meal and you don't want to be topping up your lipstick all the time. And the final step is to apply your lipstick on top. Like the nanans do. And this concludes this three minutes, possibly under five minutes, because you know I like to ramble, quick tip. And you didn't even need a lip brush, you didn't need to get any brushes dirty whatsoever. You just need a lip balm, a lip pencil, and a lipstick, and you're sorted. As always, all the products used will be listed in the description bar if you want to purchase them yourselves. If you'd like to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will make more of these quick tip videos because I know it helps to actually see someone do something while they're explaining it rather than just read about it or watch a, look at a picture. Watch a picture? Look at a picture. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.